Shepherd's pie has to be one of the greatest comfort foods in existence. It has it all. Rich meat, melt in your mouth sweet veg, and a creamy smooth layer that will crisp up on top when cooked just right. For my ultimate shepherd's pie, I have a couple of surprises that make this classic dish even better. Here's how I do it. The shepherd's pie will serve eight, so I have one kilo of lamb shoulder diced into chunks. I'll season it with salt and pepper, add a tablespoon of olive oil to a large frying pan, and fry the lamb until browned all over. Do your lamb in batches so there's enough space to brown all the meat evenly. Once the meat is done, I'll leave two tablespoons of the lamb fat in the pan and start frying the onions, carrots, and leek and I'll just let them soften in the lamb fat, absorbing all the beautiful flavour. Now the veg have been softening for about 15 minutes and I'm going to put a bulb of garlic in. Then I'm going to add tomato puree to the frying pan. Raise the heat and leave the onions, carrots and leeks to caramelise in the puree. You've got to move quickly here. I add flour to the caramelising vegetables, stirring as I go. This is going to give the sauce a wonderful and smooth viscosity. Leave that for one minute, then add white wine and leave to simmer. Transfer this with the meat and garlic into a casserole pan with the stock and herbs. I'm using bay, thyme and rosemary. Now I'm going to add a really special ingredient, a mixed spice from the Middle East called Ras Al Hanout, which is going to add so much more oomph to this dish. I'm going to leave that to cook for two hours on the hob. So the lamb's been stewing in the casserole dish for an hour. I want to show you a special way to add another dimension of flavour to your shepherd's pie. I've got Merguez sausages here. Gorgeously spiced North African sausages. We're going to skin them and then fry them. This is going to release a fabulous aroma and give the whole dish loads of bite. And they smell amazing. I'll leave this to stew for another hour, allowing the spices from the sausages to immerse within the stew. The stew will be rich and the meat will be falling to bits. Time to make my cauliflower mash. Cauliflower goes really creamy and smooth and it just makes a slightly lighter mash. Chop it into smaller chunks and then whiz it in the food processor. I'm looking for rice sized pieces of cauliflower. Again, do this in batches. My cauliflower looks perfect, so I'm going to pop it in a large pan on a medium heat. Add butter and stock and incorporate stirring for 10 minutes or until cooked through. Once that's done, I put the cooked cauliflower back into the food processor and then blend for a smooth and creamy mash. Then season with plenty of salt and pepper. Delish. Time for the best bit, the layering. I'm going to tip my stew into a baking dish. So many wonderful textures and spices, this one's gonna be out of this world. Once the stew is level, time for some mash artistry. I'm gonna scoop up a large spoonful of the mash and with the back of another spoon, I'm gonna lay it on the stew and repeat until the whole pie is covered. I'm going to create a texture pattern. You can get as creative as you like here, but I'm going to go for a wavy effect. This looks fantastic. It's going to go into a preheated oven at 200 degrees for 25 minutes or until it's golden brown and bubbling. Cool, look at that. What first hits you is this wall of spiciness. I mean, it smells fantastic. And then that top's really crisped up. It's really lovely and golden brown. And you know the second you stick your spoon into that, it's going to crack and open up that creamy mash and reveal that umptuous meat underneath. Mm, this is an extraordinary shepherd's pie. Really delicious. So guys, give it a go. And then share your pictures with me with the hashtag LoveYourKitchen. And if you want to see any more of the ultimate recipes, then just click in the eye above. All right, see you later.